Hi, and welcome to the first A Jags Life podcast, where we talk about everything in A Jags Life. I'm Taniak and Abrahams, and my co-host is... Jack Rodnicki. And today we have a very special guest, uh, Mr. V, Mr. Vanderbilt. The, he's part of the uh, phys ed department, not gym, but touch and stay. Okay, so today we're here to talk about our uh, sports leadership class, led by Mr. V, and just like everything going on. So what do you want to, you want to start by just... Uh, uh, first of all, I wanted to congratulate the class on everything they've accomplished in two and a half short weeks, including building the set that we're sitting at, the equipment that's here in front of us. And Shout obviously, out Vatican, Sean. what's that? <laughs> Shout out Vatican and Sean. Yeah, nice exactly. Uh, Michael Backman and Sean Galloway. Little Jordan Drake, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's good to be here with you. This is a good opportunity to share with uh, our school community on the reason ctk jags life has come together and why we're doing this podcast and why we're working towards a t-shirt campaign obviously because the world has changed uh twofold uh a lot of the things that we were used to that we would prepare for and that would bring our community together it's just not possible under the current climate so that's why we're here everybody's uh done yeoman's work to this point to get us here um and i'm excited about some of the some of the plans yeah for sure i think it's important to keep a positive attitude and that's a lot of what this class is driving forward yeah so we're all on social media platforms we're getting out to there we have t-shirts and stuff coming in a lot of stuff planned yeah this year's uh, gonna be a lot different from previous sports leadership classes but we're making do doing the best as we can as denny said we got a lot of social media we got the dance team helping out. We got a lot of support from teachers. We're doing t-shirts coming soon. Yeah. Free the dance team. Of course. <laughs> yeah. It's just different from last year. It doesn't have to be any better, any worse. It's just different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I think what's neat is uh, you can take you can take um, last year where we do pick day and then we go out into placement and do something uh, with our feeder schools. We're trying to do the same thing. Right, we're just trying to do it through a different avenue, through different channels. Uh, we're trying to look forward, trying to connect people. And the only way to do it is through Snapgram, Instachat, TikTok, and those types of things. So, uh, thoughts so far on the project, Jack? What project are we talking about? All of them. All of them? Th this class and what we're working on. You know what? I'm saying it's a 10 out of 10. Like, it just mm. like. That's because you want that mark. <laughs> <laughs> It's because, like, I feel like everybody's been working really hard, They're, like, with what we're in. Can't do as much, but I feel like two weeks we've done so much. So much. So much. And everybody's really tried their hardest to make it as best as they can. Outside of finding a battery for a camera, what are some of the challenges we face? <laughs> you want to think of that? Uh, yeah, we faced a lot of challenges, you know, getting the right cameras delivered, uh, getting through the forming process, you know, making sure our teams are fast, but I think we did it pretty quick and we're out here. So yeah. No, it's it's cool. So I guess at the end of the day the goals for all of this, right? Uh, I would say what do we want our elementary kids schools to know? What do we how do we want to try and bring together our secondary family? And then uh, how can we have a little fun doing it? And most importantly uh, create some sustainable change in the community with some contributions to some charitable organizations, right? right? I think that's why we're trying to do all of this. Yeah, with our t-shirt campaign, we're already taking big steps for that, yeah. Yeah, t-shirt campaign, I don't know when this podcast is going to roll, but you'll either be in the middle of a t-shirt campaign or towards the end of the t-shirt campaign, I would say. But uh, I think it's going to be quite successful. I think we're going to have a lot of fun bringing the community together with that. Okay, so what inspired you to to make this class, like, and like get in with all these ideas? Because you came with the basic ideas, you know, you and Matt. So. I it was catch twenty two. That's a really good question, and the reason is it's because I knew that when we left here on March the thirteenth, uh, the more information we gathered by as we went through the summer, that sports leadership was not going to look like the sports leadership it was. So my number one priorities. And in talking with Miss McNamara, because we were going to team teach it together for the first time, where the mental health and well-being of our students, an experience that you could take something uh, away uh, from the course that was tangible moving forward, and most of all, 
to get this to become a labor of love, to give you something, to give you something to do over the course of our 11 weeks together, which is actually 13 with the Christmas break, that will keep you busy, keep you having fun, and help you advance who you are in the late stages of being a high school student. So prepare you to leave high school uh, with some tools that will work in today's, uh, today's society, but also challenge you to a level where you're busy and it's not a traditional work or school busy where you're stressing about tests and marks. It's a, how can I change the world stress? It's how can I make a positive impact on my community stress? Um, I think that's one of the things we're most proud of with the sports leadership uh, program is that we ask you to do tangible things to change the community in a positive aspect. And we do give it to you. You're right. I came with the ideas. But I didn't know who was in my class till September, so I had to come with a few ideas. Every one of those ideas has changed almost 180 degrees, right? We bring ideas because I know it's going to be different. It can't be what it was going to be. That being said, we threw them out there and they've all changed. That's what happens when you put 44 incredible, I call them Top Gun students in a room and you give them, you know, here's what we're trying to do, go for it. And then you guys have taken it from there and it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's good. That was a long answer. I don't, I don't think I could say it better than myself Honestly. than that. Like, it's pretty good. Do you have any other questions before we wrap up today's episode? Jack? I'm feeling like that's a good basis on where we're starting at. What do you think? Do you want to do a bit of a commercial? What do you mean a commercial? Like, we're doing a podcast right now, but we could throw a clip in here that Alfred could just cut out and make it a commercial, and then when people see it... All right, so for all the students and people at home, how can they contribute? How can they help out with all of this? Uh, I guess overall, in the entire, the big picture pandemic world, say thank you to a first responder uh, over the next little while. When you get the opportunity, buy them a coffee, uh, say hi, uh, put a little joy into what they're doing right now because they're really spending a lot of time um, doing the things that a lot of people don't want to have to deal with. Uh, check on your neighbors, I think is an easy one. Uh, if you have elder, elderly neighbors or people who have uh, a pre-existing condition, you may or may not know, but if they're not going out much, go knock on the door, say hello, is there anything we can do to help? There's a lot of ways you can reach out. I know we're, we're staying home, we're, we're keeping everybody safe, uh, but the most important thing we can do is respect social distancing, uh, respect the restrictions that the government's put in right now for our uh, for everybody's safety, right? The only way to stop the spread is to follow the rules. So those would probably be the three things uh, that I would say people at home can do. Thank the first responders, check in on your neighbors, and respect what we're being asked to do right now. Tenny, what about this class though? If you're thinking about this class, what can people do to help us? So yeah, right now, like it'd be what people can do to help us is like follow us on all of our social media because that's where we'll be like advertising everything we're doing to keep up. So we have the CTK Jags TikTok that's already up, um, CTK Athletics on Instagram, and then look out for these podcasts and our YouTube videos as they come out and just stay in touch with the Jags life. Yeah. Jags life YouTube videos, that's good. I like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, what would you say that you're planning for like the next years, like how do you plan to continue this on? What can students expect if they take the sports leadership class? How will it look? Personal growth, number one, personal growth. This is not this is about learning how to create sustainable change in the community, so that's number one. And in order to do that, it's about personal growth. People, I think the people, uh, if people learn the right lessons about leadership, they learn that A, people, uh, you're not here to get a pat on the back, B, uh, the course isn't uh, full of tests and academic challenges, but it's full of busy, interesting, diverse and dynamic challenges, different types of real life challenges. Um, and as we move forward, I think if you have a, if we can take what we had prior to March 13th, 2020, and add in what this group is creating, which is very entrepreneurial. It's all brand new, nothing has been done before. And we can take sort of a, a combination of those things, 
and then graduate our grade 11s graduate our next group of top gun pilots in the building and let those minds go at those ideas then we we're set up for fantastic success moving forward we are lucky where we are we're lucky in our community right down through our feeder schools to have an incredible uh demographic of students uh we are we are always uh, filled to the brim with with top flight uh talents and i'm not talking just academically i'm talking musically in the arts in uh technology um and in athletics uh our focus is athletics um in this class but it's also event planning and whenever you're planning an event you want to cash in on all of your strengths and in this building we have a lot of strengths our student council is strong our mentorship program is the best thing we have um, so when we can join forces with those groups we're bound to have success in helping others and that sort of servant leadership that's what we talk about all the time that's what our faith does. that's part of who we are as faith-filled people is we serve our community so if you learn to serve your community, how to serve the community, how to come up with ideas and execute those things, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Okay. Well, do you uh, have any more questions, Jack? I'm feeling that's a pretty good place to wrap up. I think this was a, a for the level of guests you had, this show probably is better than I thought it would be. <laughs> well, we of course he says. All right. Great. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, I'm Jack Rudnicki. And I'm Tony Akin Abrahams. For Mr. V. This is the first ever Jags Life podcast. Catch you later. <laughs>